Hey guys, welcome back. So, normally I record on my iPhone and I play on the Roblox mobile app, but this video is going to be different. It's actually my first PC gaming video. And it will also be my last, because I recorded this a while ago on my broken laptop, and it has been such a nightmare to make any of it usable. The audio was completely ruined, so the game sounds are going to be muted, and I had to re-record the voiceover. So, I am never doing this again. From now on, all my content is going to be on the mobile app. No more PC gaming for me. In today's episode of Survive the Killer with Friends, I am joined by Choi and Reed, who I hadn't played with in almost a year. Okay, so since the original audio is not usable, here I am a few weeks after I recorded this, uh, doing new voiceover for it. Uh, in this first round, I will be the killer, the other ones I'm going to be survivor, and at this point, I've only been joined by Choi, Reed will join later. So here I'm actually gonna let Choi go so he can revive that girl I just hit. You know, just help her out and give her a fighting chance. Some people will call me a teamer for this. I don't think I'm a teamer, I don't consider myself to be a teamer, and I don't respect or like people who do team. I don't consider this teaming because I don't gain any advantage from it. My friends don't tell me where people are, they don't rat people out. They don't help me kill and they still revive injured players. I know sometimes teamers will like walk away from injured players and not revive them so that they die, but my friends don't do that. When I choose to spare them, it's just because I don't want to kill them. I don't gain any advantage from it, and it's not teaming. At this point, I've been chasing around this noob for far too long, and I don't even end up hitting them, I just start chasing another noob. Because one of the perks of playing on my broken laptop is that the keyboard is incredibly unresponsive. So like if I need to jump, I'll hit the space key and it'll be a second or two before I actually jump. If I need to turn a corner, I actually have to start hitting the arrow key to turn before I reach the corner. Because if I wait to turn until I need to, I'll just continue straight and I'll miss it. So I have to play predictably, which doesn't always go well. Like, uh, here you're gonna see me walk right into this, uh, support main, this post. And you'll see it throughout the entire video, I'm not very, uh, good at maneuvering on here. Because I'm, like, I'm playing with a delay. So it's difficult to chase people. I'm not good at following their movements. Another thing about playing on PC is that the knife range seems to be a little nerfed compared to mobile. And I don't know if that's just me, but like sometimes my knife has to actually pass all the way through someone for it to even register they've been hit. Not always, sometimes it works like normal, but sometimes it doesn't. And I think that might have to do with the auto slash because on mobile, if you get close to a survivor, the knife slashes automatically, and I think the knife slashing actually increases the range. And on PC, to slash you actually have to click the mouse, which can be difficult to do when you're also using the arrow keys and WASD and spacebar and shift. But, uh, I'm undecided about whether I think PC range is too short, or mobile range is too long. Because sometimes it feels like killers on mobile can hit you from surprisingly far away with their auto slash. But then again, that might just be... lag. Alright, so I want you to watch this next part closely, because a hacker is about to appear out of thin air. See, there's no one up here, and now there is. Where'd he come from? He just appeared out of nowhere. His username is expired granola bar, and keep an eye out for him, because later on in the video, he will be flying and coming back from the dead. And then here I get stuck just long enough for Choi to escape.
Luckily, the last survivor is AFK, so besides Choi, I managed to get a clean sweep. And if you actually look at the round results, you'll see that there are 9 players that I killed, but it only credits me for 8. And next we will be playing on the Willow Marsh, and I'm sure my viewers already know this, but I hate this map. Uh, I've been playing this game for like a year, and in that time I've only escaped Willow Marsh like a dozen, maybe two dozen times. I always die on this map. I hate this freaking map so much, and the new one isn't any better than old, if anything it's worse. Alright, you ready to see the hacker flying? This is going to be your first glimpse. Look at this guy, he's not even trying to hide that he's hacking, he's just flying all over the place, he's clipping in and out of buildings. He's just... God, he's just the worst. So something weird about this hacker, uh, he can actually get hit, and he can get revived, and he can revive other people, and he doesn't die no matter how many times you hit him, he just keeps coming back, respawning, every time. Okay, so see there, expired granola bar was defeated. So he died, right? But he didn't. Somehow, even though it's said he died, he is still here for the rest of the game. Just flying around like nothing happened. So here, uh, it's too dark to see anything and I run into an invisible barrier next to that tree. So I go over here and look who it is. It's the dead hacker and he just disappears and he reappears and he just keeps coming back he doesn't die so it is safe to say at this point I am not having a good time I'm on my broken laptop with an unresponsive keyboard on a horrible dark map filled with invisible barriers and on top of all that there is an unkillable flying hacker you can't make this sh up And right up here, the hacker is just levitating, just floating in the air. And I'm gonna die trying to get these revives. So I decide to spectate. I decide to spectate the hacker, and here's the thing. He doesn't even show up as an option to spectate. Like he's not even in the game. I don't know what this means, if it like helps the mods understand how he's hacking, but 
This guy doesn't show up in Spectate. He's still in the round, even though it said he's dead. He's flying, and he doesn't show up on Spectate. So now Reed Gaming has joined us. Everyone say hi to Reed. And I'm sure you've noticed this by now, but this video was recorded before the gems update, so we still have the old objectives up in the corner. And then good old Reed, he's gonna come and save me, followed closely by Choi. Unfortunately, Choi died. Rest in peace. So I'm just gonna hide here until either the exits open or someone gets hit and I have to revive them. Cause that's kind of my thing is if someone gets hit, I'm always going to at least try to revive them. It doesn't always work, but that's just kind of my play style. I'm always going to try to revive people, even if it would be easier not to, even if I could just escape. And then Reed also died. Rest in peace as well. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm gonna go to the upper exit. 
and then I hear someone get hit. So I'm like, great, now I have to go back, I have to try and revive them. So I do, and <laughs> that, that gets me killed because I'm an idiot. And that is the story of my life. I am always an idiot. That should be the name of my channel. Infernal is an idiot. Idiot Infernal. <laughs> I'm just, uh, yeah, I am not very good at looking out for myself, I should say. This message goes out to anyone watching who's like me. Uh, sometimes you have to look out for yourself. It's not healthy to always be prioritizing others. Obviously, I don't, I'm not a good example of this, you know, do as I say, not as I do, but uh, it's important not to focus so heavily on other people that you forget to look out for yourself. So here I revive the hacker who's floating just above the ground, and you'll see again now he's floating up by the ceiling, just like flying in the middle of the room, and he still gets hit, so I'm gonna try and revive him, but since he's floating I can't and I get hit too. But you'll see here in a minute it'll say expired granola bar was defeated. So he died. But you know how this goes. He just comes back. This man doesn't die. Like, you'll see him floating above the stage in a second. He just doesn't die. Me, on the other hand, I just go flying face first into that locker. God, that had to hurt. Hey, Reed got his spot back! Uh, I don't know if you'll remember, but I mentioned this a few videos ago. Uh, Reed has this spot at the top of the stairs that has always been his. Uh, he's been using it pretty much as long as I've known him, so almost a year. And that spot is always Reed's spot in my mind, so it doesn't feel right when other people use it. This was a close call, I'm just lucky that the killer kinda sucked. And here I am confident enough that the killer sucks that I just charge right in and revive this person. And the killer doesn't even notice me at first. And uh, even when they do, they never get close. Honestly, this round was kind of too easy. And the only reason I got hit was because I tried to revive the hacker. And it's kind of a close call, but I do manage to escape. Thanks for watching. 
If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and drop a comment below. Subscribe to see more.